She has been an investigative journalist for more than 20 years. Published nationally and internationally in numerous mainstream news publications, Leslie Kane has been a forerunner for getting information out to the public. In the early to mid-90s, Leslie was a producer and co-host for KPFA, a public radio station in Berkeley, California. In 2000, she published an investigative feature for the Boston Globe on the French military study UFOs in Defense, known as the Cometa Report. This report ignited a fire in Leslie, and her passion for investigating and covering UFOs began. The very next year, her story about pilot sightings and aviation safety was published in the Providence Journal and syndicated widely. A series of additional serious mainstream stories on UFOs followed. In 2002, Leslie co-founded the Coalition for Freedom of Information, an independent alliance advocating for greater government openness on information about UFOs. As director of CFI, she was the plaintiff in a successful five-year Freedom of Information Act federal lawsuit against NASA, seeking files on the famous Kecksburg UFO crash case. That effort earned the public backing of John Podesta. President Clinton's former chief of staff, who stated that Leslie Kane's victory is a triumph for open government and the spirit of inquiry. In 2007, Leslie and filmmaker James Fox co-organized a landmark national press conference in Washington, D.C. on official UFO investigations, which was covered by media around the world. A group gathering here in Washington to talk about their UFO sightings, but this apparently is no crackpot convention. Former high-level government and military officials are among those sharing what they've seen in the skies. Kane was also producer for Fox's 2009 independent documentary, I Know What I Saw. If the government's announced, well, there are, the unidentified objects are real. This past year, Kane became familiar to many in the mainstream audience with the release of her book, UFOs, Generals, Pilots, and Government Officials Go on the Record, which spent three weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. With a foreword by John Podesta, it includes chapters by five generals and has been endorsed by a host of impressive scientists and journalists, including Michio Kaku, who made this comment about the book on MSNBC. We need alien DNA or an alien chip. That would nail it to the wall right there. We don't have that. We don't have the smoking gun. But this book is as close as you're going to get to the smoking gun. We're talking about senior military officials who were involved in the investigations of these incidents saying we are clueless. Leslie also appeared on MSNBC. A lot of people do care, especially the ones that have seen them and want answers. I mean, with some of these people who see them, it changes your life. How does it change your life? Because you are seeing something so phenomenal that is not supposed to exist, that everybody around you says can't possibly be. You get ridiculed, people don't believe you, but you have seen it with your own eyes. And go the governor of Arizona was one of these people. Fox News. And so far there hasn't been that involvement? There hasn't been. No, there's, there's not, there's a, a kind of a um, ignoring of it all in the, within the government, and we think that should change. And even handled the satirical retribution of Stephen Colbert on the Colbert Report. Now, have, have, have we settled the UFO phenomenon? Is, 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 is what, why write about this now? What, what gave you the impetus to reopen the X-Files? <laughs> Actually, Stephen, it's never been solved. And I started working on it 10 years ago, so the reason it happened now is because that's how long it took me to get to the bottom of it. That's the cases we're interested in. They have been investigated by governments. I'm talking about governments around the world, so well investigated that they've been able to eliminate any explanation for like them. Like what governments? Big of. countries? Good, like France first tier? Been, France has been a good one. The, that's the, an actual the, country. The UK, that's a country. Brazil. <laughs> Brazil has been doing this for decades, and there are government documents that show it. I mean, these have all been filed and then they've been released. So we know that these things exist. The question is, what are they? Okay. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I would like to know. Through her tireless efforts and relentless persistence, Leslie Kane has helped relieve the stigma around UFOs, raising the credibility of all our efforts and giving mainstream audiences a better understanding of the need for official recognition of this topic. This is why Leslie Kane receives our Researcher of the Year Award.